we love Fridays because we get to hang out with our friend Christopher Lloyd from the Film App and find out all the new movies coming out, what we need to see. Hi, Chris. Good to be here. I like you guys' fall colors. You know, Me thanks, too. man. We were just saying we like the tweed. I love You're that rocking. color combo. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I dress for fall because I know technically we have three more weeks of summer, but really, you know, certainly the summer movie season is over now. Yeah. And things kind of slow down at the theaters, new stuff coming out in early September usually. There's okay. some big film festivals going on, that's where the attention is. So I thought we talk about what's coming ahead for fall, Great. really through the end of the year as we sort of approach the serious movies. Oh, yeah, there's yes. some stuff that we got. Yeah, oh, so, wow, look at that list. Yeah, so we're just gonna, this is not supposed to be a comprehensive, uh, I've actually got a very comprehensive list on the film, yeah, you can go check that out. This is like my picks for the films I'm most looking forward to. Okay. The Exorcist Believer, of course, sequel to the very famous film from 1973 or four. Uh, it's terrifying. And you're like, why, why this? Because this movie's had a million sequels and a million I imitators. I'm excited because original star Ellen Burstyn is being brought back oh, really? uh, to get in this. And now instead of having two creepy little possessed girls, they're having one creepy little possessed girl, they're having two, and that stuff just creeps me the heck out. Yeah. Double the I'm, trouble. Yeah. I'm yeah. always for it. Uh, <laughs> the next big MCU movie is The Marvels. This is, of course, with Brie Larson as Captain Marvel, and now we had the Ms. Marvel from the Disney show. Okay. And so she's getting her own super team, uh, which I'm very excited about. Uh, Nick Fury's there, everybody's there, and I'm just really excited to see what they do. The MCU's been great, I've been loving it. Has been pretty wide, chromosome heavy, let's face really? it. Okay. Yeah. So let's have a female super yeah. team. I'm excited I about I like it. that, that's, that's cool. That's cool, all right, yeah. coming out early November. Yeah, coming out the same day, November 10th, is The Killer. This is Michael Fossbender, starring a film uh, from David Fincher. Uh, trailer just dropped literally a couple days ago okay. and it's uh, I call it art house John Wick because it huh. sounds very similar he's an assassin who ends up going on like an international spree where he's combating sort of like his own club and culture fellow assassins and being hunted by them looks very moody Ooh. very film noir a lot of people looking forward to that one all right the Napoleon killer. is the big epic yeah. from Ridley Scott Scott starring Joaquin Phoenix of course as the uh, the titular monarch slash despot slash dictator what do you want to call him especially focusing on his relationship with uh, his uh, consort played by Vanessa Kirby uh, just looks like, you can see, this has got Oscar pedigree all over it. Mm. They're obviously swinging for the fences. Uh, Ridley Scott's one of my favorite filmmakers, so stoked for that one. Joaquin Phoenix is just awesome, too. I know. He just is. Just and they, a great they, they, actor. You know, uh, swing in another direction, Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. Okay. Uh, no trailers available for this one yet, but of course oh. it's Jason Momoa. Yeah. yeah. He's now King of Atlantis. Uh, we think it's gonna be, you know, some familiar villains coming after him, Black Mantis. I'm excited about it. Uh, I really like the first Aquaman. Um, and believe it or not, this is actually gonna be the last movie in the DC Comics universe because they're kind of folding their ten up. Really? really? So I I'm hoping they're gonna go out with a bang. Okay, ah, okay. go all out for this one. All nice. right. Speaking of like you know Marvel superhero movies, Star Wars movies, I love them. But you know it, it does kind of feel like okay, well, do we need another Star Wars movie, another superhero movie. So this next one, Rebel Moon, seems like it's in that zone. But it's really it's an original story, so it's got a lot of flavors of uh, superhero movies, Star Wars movies, Dune. It's got a very Dune okay. feel oh, to it. Yeah. But it's an original story. Yeah. And this is from Zack Snyder, director. He's done. He did a couple of the uh, DC movies. Just a terrific visual filmmaker. Uh, and again, one people are really excited about it. I am too. It's about like a savior battling against an evil galactic empire. I know some notes there are very similar, but. Sure. I just, I'm stoked for this. Okay, Rebel Moon right in time nice, for Christmas. Yeah. And finally, we want to talk about Ferrari, yeah. starring Pride of Mishawaka, Adam Driver, oh, who's, your, that's right. who's your actor. I think, you know, this may be the one that puts him over the top. He's, I think he's going to get that Oscar nomination. Wow. Maybe he'll win. Unrecognized, of course, playing the older Enzo Ferrari, who's uh, facing all sorts of problems. People didn't realize, actually, a time there in the 50s where it looked like his company was going to fold. Huh. Really? And his, had this idea to enter a thousand mile long race through Italy to save everything. Wow. Uh, this actually just premiered at the Venice Film Festival. Uh, I don't know if it was last night, it was the night before, uh, and got a six minute standing ovation. Wow. Really? Okay. So, another one, really, really excited, excited about. 
uh, really just a season and all. I mean, yeah. I love summer yeah. movies, yeah. I love fun movies, but it's nice to get into that season where we can still have those fun movies, you know, the sure. Marvels and, and, and Aquaman, but also those movies that are aiming a little higher. Yeah. I well, love that. He really is unrecognizable in some of those I know. clips. Yeah. I actually saw the photo, was doing the write up before I came across the note. Like, oh, that's Adam Driver. Yeah. Like, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, there's the list right there. You can find Chris and his team's reviews at filmyap.substack.com. While you're there, hit subscribe. He's got all kinds of great contests and giveaways as well. Chris, thanks as always. Thank my you. Friend. Wonderful Chris. to be here. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, we appreciate it.